Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to check out the Neild Big Al. It's a unit that they built, uh, that Neild built and then modeled, sort of like the, in The Mandalorian when they built a spaceship and then model it on, on a model that they built specifically for the show. And this is what happened here. It doesn't look like this, but it's uh, certainly something they built with a purpose to have a certain sound. You know, we all want that little bit of extra saturation going on problem with saturation sometimes it's way too much and you have to blend in so very little bit on something that is almost pointless because then you could use anything there's no point in buying an expensive plugin and there are so many of them they are all kind of good you can all get them to do something the question is is it necessary to buy this one for me what i'm going to be looking at is like that those highs are not harsh so you can use them to saturate hi-hats you know snares don't become really piercing give a little bit more shine to a voice but also more highs and a bit more character um they did a very nice um test on on the website and they did an acoustic guitar and it sounded really really good i encourage you to check it out so what are the functions here so this is the amount of drive uh, this is the mix as I handled that before highs low so basically an equalizer and then um, here you have a mid slight mid boost so that's what emphasis does on and off for the plugin uh, not much here other than adjusting the size it doesn't really adjust that much you can get it from kind of this would be normal a little bit bigger a little bit smaller so be it but graphics look good and these knobs are very easy to grab uh, with the mouse, which is something which I like. You have a reset, and I'm put assume, yeah. So, drum bus enhancer here, for example, is one piece. Play with it. Let me play the song from for a second here, so you hear in what context it's gonna play. So what I did here, when the energy of the song came up, I introduced this. And this is something that's interesting. Instead of turning up the volume during, let's say, a chorus, you can bring in a little bit more saturation. So this is not something that has to be on all the time. But anyways, let's go back and let's put it just on the drums. I'm going to reset it. There you go. Um, and again, so here, this emphasizes um, the mids. This is bass compensation. And this here is the voltage sag on. And I believe what that means is that just the effect is going to be more intensified or less intensified. Um, cool. So let's just do the drums. I'm going to start increasing the drive. This is the, ex the entire drum bus, by the way. We're at 100% here. So it's about here, 35, that starts to fall apart. The kick drum, at least. Put it right here. And what I like is the highs are still are not unpleasant. What we can do now is just reduce this. feels flatter, more together. All right, let's 
try the whole thing on the kick. So as you heard, it comes, it's not a huge change if you're mixing in, actually we're mixing in quite a bit, 30%, for some saturators that's quite a lot, but um, yeah, I feel it brings the drums closer together. So before we do the kick drum, actually, let's try the Abbey Road saturator here really quick and see how that sounds. jumps are just crazy. Something I like about the Neil, the gain jumps are not that crazy. I prefer doing less and blending in more rather than doing a lot and blending in and blending in just a little bit. All right, let's look at the kick only since all that sits on the bus. We don't have to change much. You can take out some of the lows. And you just blend in a little bit and that's gonna help you listen to it on a bigger system, on a smaller system. Try the same thing. The basement, which doesn't have gain correction at all, so it always comes in louder. Yeah, I can tell you one thing. It definitely adds some life to it. Um, I like it. I do like it. Let's start a voice. 
ease. I can wait till I shine when the drama finally clears. So I can get my focus on. I'm writing one of the dopest songs. This music's one of the closest phones. I found what I've been holding on. And I never was for showing off, posing for them cameras. Fuck you in the glamorous. This real shit, I can handle this. I kill shit, fuck the championships. Never been a fan of this. Off my dick and man, a bitch. Watch the industry collapse. Only blood, sweat, and tears when I put this shit on wax. Back down. Y'all don't really wanna fuck with me. Nah. Back down. Get too close, homie, you will see. You will see. Back down. I ain't faking, homie, this is me. This is me. Back down. Begging you, please leave me be. Leave me be. Back down. All this drama really ain't for me. It ain't for me. Back down. I just want a little air to breathe. Give me air to breathe. On the run, searching for the key. Yeah. Back down. I just yeah. wanna fly and be free. Yeah. So I like, I really like that you can put this on passages that are, you know, when he says back down compared to the rest of the, the vocals, it's a bit, you know, almost too nice. So if we push that, if we were just to isolate that part, when we activated it when that part was happening, it just gives us a bit more interest. I can wait till I shine when the drama finally clears So I can get my focus on I'm writing one of the dopest songs This music's one of the closest phones I found what I've been holding on And I never was for showing off Posing for them cameras Fuck you in the glamorous This real shit, I can handle this I kill shit, fuck the championships Never been a fan of this Off my dick and man, a bitch Watch the industry collapse Only blood, sweat and tears When I put this shit on wax Back down, y'all don't really wanna fuck with me. Nah. This part. Back down, get too close, homie, you will see. You will see. Back down, I ain't faking, homie, this is me. This is me. Back down, begging you, please leave me be. Leave me be. Back down, all this drama really ain't for me. It ain't for me. Back down, I just want a little air to breathe. Give me air to breathe. On the run, searching for the key. Yeah. Back down, I just yeah. wanna fly and be free. Never been the shit, I was shit in schools. You can catch me in the pit, fighting with the wolves. And my heart's racing fast, baby, check my pulse. I be drowning in the world full of swimming pools. Been the hood star ball since the seventh grade. Little rubber from the heart, little renegade. Oh, I really I like how it brings out the highs. Uh, those are nice highs. I can wait till I shine when the drama finally clears. So I can out. get my focus on I'm writing one of the dopest songs. This music's one of the closest phones. I found what I've been holding on. Oh, let's see how it sounds in mix. And I never was the show enough. Posing for the cameras. Fuck you in the glamorous. This real shit, I can handle this. I kill shit, fuck the championships. Never been a fan of this. Off my dick and man of this. I can Ease, I can wait till I shine when the drama finally clears. So I can get my focus on. I'm writing one of the dopest songs. This music's one of the closest songs. I found what I've been holding on. And I never was for showing off, posing for them cameras. Fuck you in the glamorous. This real shit, I can handle this. I kill shit, fuck the championships. Never been a fan of this. Off my dick and man, a bitch. Watch the industry collapse. Only yeah. blood, sweat, yeah. and tears yeah. when I put this shit on wax. Yeah, really cool. And we're doing this on the bus. You know, you wouldn't throw this on the entire bus. You throw this on the lead vocal and then, you know, as needed on the different portions. But I can already tell that this is really not giving it that harshness that I was afraid of. Gives it nice highs so you can really bring out presence. It's not just to add, you know, saturation or what people think is distortion. No, you can actually make it sound nicer <laughs> it's almost a contradiction with a saturation plugin all right let's check out uh, the bass another things here i have a sub bass and the re the way i solve this i add a little bit of a distortion an extra note so that in the mix you can hear it and I never was to show enough, posing for the cameras. Fuck you in the glamorous. This real shit, I can handle this. I kill shit, fuck the championships. Never been a fan of this. Off my dick. So, otherwise, on a small device, you would not hear this at all. That sub bass is way too low. But you add this little tiny bit here. It's not that little, but, but this is the part that's going to pop out on small speakers that top in. All right, so now let us compare the bass here really quickly. I'm going to play it dry, and then I'm going to bring in 
the kneeled big L, and I'm gonna also do the Abbey Road Saturator. thinning out here but we bring it back in with that it's just not as alive yeah let's bring in Abbey Road volume jumps are just crazy out the low end actually. All right, let's solo it. And the vocals enabled. Posing for the cameras. Fuck you when the glamorous. This real shit, I can handle this. I kill shit, fuck the championships. Never been the fan of this. Off my dick and man of bitch. Watch the industry collapse. Only blood, sweat, and tears. When I put this shit on wax. 
I can wait till I shine when the drama finally clears. So I can keep my focus on I'm writing one of the dopest songs. This music's one of the closest phones I phone what I've been holding on. And I never was just showing off, posing for them cameras. Fuck you when the glamorous. This real shit, I can handle this. I kill shit, fuck the championships. Never been a fan of this. Off my dick and man a bitch. Watch the industry collapse. Yeah. Only blood, sweat, yeah. and tears yeah. when I put this shit on wax. Back down. Y'all yeah, don't really wanna fuck with me. Nah. Back down. Get too close, homie, you will see. You will see. Back down. I ain't faking, homie, this is me. This is me. Back down. Begging you, please leave me be. Leave me be. Back down. All this drama really ain't for me. It ain't for me. Back down. I just wanna live the air to breathe. Give me air to breathe. Hold the one, searching for the key. Yeah. Back down. I just yeah. wanna fly. Never been the shit, I was shit in schools You can catch me in the pit, fighting with the wolves And my heart's racing fast, baby, check my pools I be drowning in the world full of swimming pools Been the hood star boy since the seventh grade Little rubber from the heart, little renegade I was staying true, that will never change Only since a young and you can check my resume Yo, check my catalog, I'm at it, dog, I battle dog F you all, I'm better off without you Brings the drums nicely forward, a little bit more presence in the drums. Um, I would say on the vocals, it's a great tool for emphasizing different song passages. Um, these vocals are already um, recorded kind of in a you know dirtier way, so they don't need that much coloring. They already have that, but it still shows you um, there's there's a good amount left to do uh, to bring things forward without just constantly boosting you know, EQs or specific frequencies. Um, and then, yeah, as far as the bass, I think that's the only way where I'm feeling that the Abbey Road is just as good. Um, maybe a little bit better for this particular bass. We're talking about a sub bass, and um, which is very, very hard to hear. And then another uh, bass on top of it, a distorted bass. Uh, but they're very close. I think the safer bet uh, to work with to not risk destroying anything and just going overboard would probably be to go with the Neil. So uh, I feel it's, you know, needs more testing, but my initial reaction is probably one of the best saturators that I have seen. It's very pleasant to work with. And I have to emphasize really the, the highs, they are not becoming harsh and it's not becoming such a distorted mess and harsh mess that you have to then only blend in, you know, 1% or 2% just to be on the safe side and not completely ruin everything. I think you have a lot more flexibility uh, and a lot more creativity uh, with this plugin here. So uh, amazing job, uh, well done. Um, I'm gonna, I think, I think for me it's gonna be a keeper and I'm gonna use it on, on many tracks and buses just a tiny bit, a little bit. Uh, so yeah, all in all, I think Plugin Alliance and Neold they hit it out of the ballpark. A very good uh, saturator that's super flexible. It can sound, give you more presence. It can give you more low end. It can bring things forward. Uh, it can be super destructive as well, of course. Um, that is not a problem, as we heard. Um, but um, overall, I think this is a very, very useful plugin that's going to translate well to small devices like smartphones or small headphones. Things like where well, you can't even hear the low stuff certain things and you can't make things louder because the frequencies are not there so, all right thank you very much for checking in enjoy it and you can test it for free at plugin alliance for 14 days all right bye